What's up, y'all? Today, I'm here to answer the age-old question that lurks around tons of tackle shops. Is Berkeley Gulp worth it? But first, before we get to the tutorial, people, we have a very special announcement because Christy, <laughs> check out that Christie's work. Look at this. Y'all, it has been a long time in coming and I am so, so stoked. Seriously, I have had you guys in mind for so long on some of the top gear out there. Didn't want to just put out random apparel. Wanted you guys to have the best of the best. So we are bringing y'all some new era apparel, uh, one fish, two fish style. And you guys, we finally have our one fish, two fish merch, swag, apparel, whatever you call it mad excited we y'all we even have long sleeve moisture wicking performance shirts all right guys so today again is our launch of our apparel super stoked to be doing this with y'all in this journey cannot wait for this next year and hopefully see a lot of you guys out on the water wearing our merch um and just to kind of share the stoke and spread the love out on the water with y'all that's right people here we go is berkeley gulp worth it and berkeley gulp actually has some new things that they came out with. So this video, by the way, is completely unsponsored because as you can see, we're gonna be talking and comparing two big things, Berkeley Gulp and Z-Man. So Z-Man kind of represents a lot of all the other soft plastics out there, unscented. Um, they do have some scented soft plastics. Berkeley Gulp, you know, you get the scented. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it also is, I don't know, it's not as durable as the Z-Man, but today we're not here to talk about Z-Man. We're here to talk about Berkeley Gulp. To answer the question, is Berkeley Gulp worth it? So as this is Z-Man, by the way, it's got the Elastec, whatever. You guys, on this YouTube channel, I try as hard as I can to be completely unbiased. This video, I guarantee you, is totally unbiased. It is not sponsored by anybody by any means or anything like that i went to the tackle shop paid for this bait with my own money so hopefully you guys share this video with your friends you guys subscribe to this youtube channel because that's that's the only spiel that i'm going to give y'all is that i don't try and push anything on you guys and all i ask in return is if you guys can just help out this channel subscribe i don't know share it with your friends whatever so let's get right to it berkeley gulp is it worth it i'm going to give you the short answer yeah, it is worth it. It is worth it in certain instances. Sorry, there's wind blowing all around everywhere. So when it comes to Berkeley Gulp, we know the pros and cons. The pros are you have the juice, that's their proprietary juice, the Berkeley Gulp juice. Um, Berkeley Gulp baits will pretty much not like, it's not like they'll outfish every other bait, but there's things that you can do with Berkeley Gulp that you can't do with other baits. And that is like, you can cast out Berkeley Gulp and you can just drift across a flat or almost not even drift. You can just cast it out, let it sit on the bottom and you'll catch fish. You can definitely do that same thing with Z-Man and with other baits. Yes, you can. That's fair. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are gonna comment below. Yeah, I use Z-Man and I cast it out or I troll from my kayak or whatever, I dead stick my rod, which means you're not giving your rod any action and you're still catching fish on a Z-Man. Yeah, you can do that on a Z-Man, but Berkeley Gulp, legit. You can just like cast it out like right here and just let it sit there and fish are still going to eat it. So that's the short answer. I'm not gonna kind of blow a bunch of smoke on this video and I'm not gonna clickbait you guys and do a video where I don't answer your question or the question in the title. Yes, Berkeley Gulp is worth it. There is slight caveats to that though. Um, I'm gonna talk about the different Berkeley Gulp baits I went to the tackle shop and I bought my favorite Berkeley Gulp baits, and some of the ones that I did want to talk about. Cause check this out. Sneaky, sneaky Berkeley Gulp finally got on the program and they're using a profile bait that matches the Z-Man swimming trout trick. This is brand new and they're doing a little bit more of like a paddle tail action. So check this out, you guys, right there. I don't know if that sets competition to you guys, but 
Z-Man has been killing it with the paddle tail. Berkeley Gulp. Uh, you know, Berkeley Gulp, this is kind of what brought them to the dance is the swimming mullet. But now they've got the paddle tail. So you guys, here's some of the caveats to Berkeley Gulp, why I use it, when I use it, and just some things to know. We're filming this video in the dead of winter. So I use Berkeley Gulp baits in the dead of winter when I need as much of an advantage as I can get. So also in the winter time, we don't have our tail biters. We don't have like bluefish back here. We don't have like croaker, we don't have pinfish. So in the summertime, that's when I will transition kind of out of Berkeley Gulp where I won't use it as much because Berkeley Gulp obviously it's a little bit more expensive and it's not as durable as your Z-Man. So Z-Man, you can add, whoa, Z-Man, you can add Pro Cure to it, um, but Berkeley Gulp, I'm gonna go ahead and put this Z-Man back. Um, but Berkeley Gulp, yeah, it's worth it. And especially in the winter time, especially a lot of tournament redfish anglers, when they're looking, sorry, I got a gust of wind. So a lot of tournament redfish anglers, when they're looking for that, just slight advantage pro cure works so does berkeley gulp so this right here this is it looks like i haven't seen this in my tackle shop this is the three inch paddle tail pearl white this right here is absolutely perfect for a winter time bait um these fish they're feeding in the winter time not as much on crabs or crustaceans they're feeding on gudgeons mud minnows and just smaller bait fish even like smaller shrimp so that right there this profile this smaller profile is absolutely perfect for winter time fishing um so this is a bait that i like to use this is berkeley gulp this is the three inch or eight centimeters if you're in Europe. <laughs> this is the three inch uh, paddle tail pearl white. I really like pearl white in the winter time as well. I don't like just super bright colors, things like that. I like a little bit more natural looking colors. I also really like this orange tiger color. This is the swimming mullet. So this is another great winter time Berkeley Gulp bait. And just another great bait um, throughout all year is this swimming mullet you can put this if you want like flounder on demand berkeley gulp is going to get it done you're just going to have to use a good amount of berkeley gulp obviously because their tail is going to get bitten off and everything like that so um berkeley gulp the short answer is yes it's worth it however it's always nice to have a backup because you can go through berkeley gulp really quickly and y'all know what i'm talking about if you guys have been out here in the summertime and there's tons of tail biters and you're catching little sea bass little croaker little pinfish things like that it's really really annoying that's when i'll switch to other baits other soft plastics like a z-man things like that but berkeley gulp yes it is worth it i'm actually going to also part of this video i did want to feature some of the newer berkeley gulp uh molds and some of their newer shapes so they do have the paddle tail and just to give like a comparison i'm probably gonna put on the waders and we're going to make a few casts and we're gonna show what this action looks like in the water um it's probably gonna be pretty dang similar to the z-man um but i don't know it's kind of got this same action to it same paddle tail uh you know it's not too stiff um, so anyways, you guys, let's go ahead. I'm going to show y'all some underwater footage. If I'm just going out fishing for flounder, then I'll probably start with Berkeley Gulp. I don't know what it is, but flounder, they just absolutely love Berkeley Gulp. I'll catch flounder on Z-Man. I'll catch flounder on other baits, but I absolutely love even just this swimming mullet. This swimming mullet, in my opinion, Berkeley Gulp, you guys killed it with this right here. And there's so many different bait companies out there that try and duplicate this mold right here, but they just can't get it right because, you know, Berkeley Gulp with this paddle tail, just how much action that it has, even if you're just barely working your rod tip, this swimming mullet, 
has some of the best action. So that's a quick little video for y'all that I just wanted to get out there. I wanted to get off my chest. That Berkeley Gulp, it is worth it. Um, but if you're getting your bait, you know, again, if it's just, you're getting your tails bitten off left and right, then you probably want to have some other soft plastics in your tackle box so that you're not going through a bag or a you know jug of these things it's like $20 uh, so you can go through that pretty dang quick um, put these on a jig head put these underneath of a popping cork um, you guys again flounder absolutely love these uh, redfish they're keyed in a little bit more on scent so Berkeley gulp absolutely gonna be using these for a redfish in the winter time these are great redfish baits in the winter time you can even catch black drum things like that things you know fish that you might not normally catch on a soft plastic so i would love to hear what y'all think about this again this is just my honest opinion my honest feedback to berkeley gulp and that question that hopefully someone who's not trying to sell y'all anything on youtube can give you a straight up answer that i think berkeley gulp is worth it but i do think that you want to have a backup you know backup plan b whatever you want to have a plan b have some backup uh soft plastics in your tackle box and sometimes i'll start with the z-man sometimes i'll start with a berkeley gulp but right now in the dead of winter you're going to find me typically fishing with berkeley gulp so anyways hopefully y'all enjoyed that video and uh if you guys want to see any other videos or any other questions you want me to answer please drop me a line below that's all i got peace out